everyone welcome back to my channel at secret international this is your visa advisor and today i have come up with a very important and interesting video for all those candidates who have applied for f1 visa in us so today's video is related to top 5 reasons due to which the f1 visa gets refused so do watch the video till the end and if you are new to this channel and if you have not yet subscribed this channel quickly subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload the video you could get the notification instantly and if you like this video do hit the like button. So without any further delay let's move into the video. So before moving ahead, let me tell you that if you want us to apply your any type of visa, it can be F1 visa, B1, B2 visa, J1 visa, C1, D or any other kind of visa. So you can contact on the below mentioned number or if you want us to book your slot or if you want to prepare for your interview, so you can contact on the below mentioned number on the screen. So let's move into the video. So the first and very important reason of F1 visa rejection is inadequate financial documents. Yes, this point is very important. If you want to go to US for study purpose, so you need to have your funds with you and your funds should be old. It should not happen like that you are going for the interview on a particular date and you have just transferred the funds in your account two days before. So this is definitely not going to work. You need to have old funds in your bank account. If you don't want to get your US visa denial, so make sure that you are having old funds in your bank account. So the second reason of F1 visa rejection is previous denial don't consider that when you're going for us visa interview for more than one time so the visa officer is not going to look upon your previous rejection reasons definitely they will discuss about your previous rejection that what was the reason of your previous rejection have you made any changes in your profile so when you go for your us visa interview next time make sure to correct your previous mistake if you go for your interview after rejection and then if you will be asked at that moment that have you made any changes in your profile if you will say no so that will bring a doubt in the mind of visa officer so here i advise you to make some changes in your profile so that you should have an answer in your hand that yes i have made particular changes in my profile as compared to my previous profile because if you will not do so then this can be the reason of your next time rejection also so make sure to do some changes in your profile next time you go for your visa interview the next major reason of f1 visa rejection is unclear home ties if you yourself are not clear regarding your home ties uh, that after completing your study in us you will come back to your home country so if you are not clear in your mind regarding your home ties so you will not be able to make the things clear to the visa officer regarding your coming back to your home country so you should have a proper answer in your hand that this is the particular reason that after completing my studies from us i will come back to my home country like i have to get married here or i have a plan to start my own business here or I have to join a good company here and to do job with a handsome salary or any kind of reason you can mention for coming back to your home country so it is suggested by me to get a proper answer so that the visa officer could give you approval not rejection so if you have your interview in the coming days and you are confused and in a very panic situation that what is going to happen there what kind of questions you're going to face or how you have to answer the particular questions so we can help you here so you can join our interview sessions and you can have one to one session with our experts and there will be discussion of all the question and answers which you can face in your US visa interview and you can clear all your doubts with our expert. So if you want to join those sessions, you can contact on the below mentioned number. So the fourth major reason is not carrying all of your documents. There are some of the candidates who are not aware of the point that what documents they have to carry and what not. So it's better to carry all your documents. Don't consider that this particular document is not that much important to carry, but make sure to carry each and every document. It's up to the visa officer whether they will demand for a particular document or not. 
but you should yourself be prepared on your side that you should have all the documents in your hand in case the visa officer ask you you should have that particular document with you to give it to the visa officer so don't consider that the documents are not important to carry with you but they are important to carry with you so take each and every document with you in your file in case the visa officer ask you you can give it to the visa officer if you will not do so so it can be a reason of your rejection so it's better to carry all your documents with you fifth major reason is mistakes in your ds160 form now this point comes in every candidate's mind that i have filled my ds160 form in a very proper way and in a very clear way but it happens sometimes that the things which seems correct to us are not sometimes correct it is important to fill your ds160 form in a proper and correct way give full information and true information but if you will miss some of the information or you will try to tell a lie in your ds160 form so this can result in your us visa denial so it is advisable to fill your ds160 form in a very proper and clear way so that this does not bring doubt in the mind of us visa officers so this was all about today's video if you like this video do hit the like button and if you know any of the person for whom this video is going to be helpful do share this video to that person and if you don't want to miss any kind of videos related to us visa quickly subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload the video you could get the notification instantly thank you for watching stay fit and stay healthy